love YouTube. It's your boy Big D back at it with another reaction video. Hell yeah, man. Today's still young. But anyways, man, I've been doing some country songs. I've done a couple this morning, done one yesterday, maybe one Friday. I'm gonna play something a little more up the beat. So here we are. This is gonna be on Up Church Blue Jean Face Eminem remix. Now, I know I got the game kind of late. Uh, I know this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to make it even longer. I'm going to do a little talking. But anyways, uh, I know him and Screwface, they was battling it out there for a while. I think this song, maybe he dropped this maybe a day or two after Screwface dropped one of his. Now, I have went listening to one or two uh, Screwface's songs, and one of them I heard it was a diss towards uh, uh, Ryan Up Church. Man, I wasn't really digging it because, man, he just has a lot of racist stuff in it. I'm not racist. I got some black friends. I'm the kind of person. I don't care what color you are, black, white, Mexican, Chinese, or polka dot, or the big purple Barney. I don't care. If you treat me with respect, I treat you back. That's just how it is. It's bad in all colors, man. It's good and bad. It just ain't nothing I can do about that part, but, you know, the racist part, I can because I'm not racist. But, uh, the like I said, it's going to be bad and good in everybody. But anyway, enough of that. I didn't like it, like I said, because the racist stuff in I just, I just, it just, oh my God, it's like 70% of the song. I only listened to like 40 seconds of it. And it was just racist stuff. So I, I didn't even listen to all of it. Now, say that much. I'm not saying Screwface is, I'm, I'm sure he's a good, talented guy if he just took his time and, 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 and listen. I mean, he could probably throw out some pretty damn good songs. But I think he might have done that too quick, just trying to get something out there because he was probably mad because Up Church might have done this on him or whatever, and he just throwed something out there and it didn't even make no damn crap and sense. But anyways, enough of that. But anyways, this is gonna be Up Church Blue Jean Face. I dig the background. I, I dig the picture. This don't, I don't. This song don't have a video to it. It's just the song. Now I love the log cabin. Now I can I can see myself sitting on that porch right there. I know she's got a gun. Got some dog food, like a dog land behind him. What you will see in, in the country. Got a rebel flag, got a wagon wheel. There's another gun behind the chair. But anyways, man, I, I can see myself sitting there drinking a beer. But anyways, let me get my headphone. I can't hardly hear myself talking. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But anyways, man, enough of that. I do like up church, man. I went to his concert January the 4th. Cotton Eye Joe's in Knoxville, Tennessee. I bought a couple of t-shirts. Uh, I even got a couple of these right here. These uh, uh, beer holders here, huggers or whatever they call them. Got a few of them. I, I wanted to get a poster, but I didn't want to have to hold it because they did say once you went in, you couldn't go back out. If you went out, you couldn't come back in. So, I I mean, if I could went out to the truck, I would bought probably a couple of posters and probably a couple more other things too. But I didn't want to have to hold it. But since I couldn't go out the truck and put it all in the truck and then come back in, it is what it is. But I do like to have me a poster. But, you know, I follow uh, Redneck Nation on Instagram, and, man, they got a lot of T-shirts, sweaters, hats. And, man, they even got jewelry. Man, I don't know what all they got. They got so much stuff, man. You just probably type it in and find it. I do want to get me a couple more shirts. Uh, they got a lot of good shirts. I just don't know what I want. I just... Man, I really don't know what I want to get because there's too many daggum choices because they're all good. You know, I can't afford to buy all of them, but you know, I, I want to. I do want to get a couple of them. I just, I've been, I've been browsing around, pounding on them a little bit. I'll let you know when I get something. But anyways, man, uh, another thing, somebody asked me, is, what do you turn up here on your left? Well, I don't know what it's called, man. It's a damn box to me. It's got knobs and buttons and and it's got cords going into it. But anyways, I'll try to show it to you. That thing right there. I don't know why me what it does, but it controls. I think it's some type of maybe compressor. Maybe it compresses it down a little bit smoother. I don't know the voice or the hearing. I don't know what it does beyond me. But I know I do know what it does do. It can turn my left side up if I want it louder, or my right side, or I can turn one side down, or I can turn my voice up because I have a hard time hearing out of my right ear. I can hear better on my left, so I turn the right up a little bit more. And, you know, if my voice gets, if I get a little too carried away over here, I can back my voice down a little bit so it ain't ringing in, it, ringing in my eardrums. 
But anyways, it runs to my mic. Uh, runs this mic here, I think. Well, take get back. It runs my headphones, and it runs from the mixer up to here, and I think back from there. Uh, I don't know. It is back and forth. Damn cables running their work. I know I probably got way more crap than I need over here, and but hey, I dig it. I dig I, it. Sounds good in my headphones. I don't know what it sounds like to y'all, but hey, I like it. But anyways, I do turn it down. I turn it up at occasion. It depends how loud I get. But sometimes I get a little carried away. Sometimes, but it runs back here to this compressor and uh, mixer and blah blah blah. I got two or three conditioners. I got all my stuff plugged into them. It shows how many voltages you're running from your uh, your plug on your coming out of your 110 plug uh this right here is saying it's running around like 118 uh instead of 120 volts it's around 118 and that right there is running exactly 120 i don't i don't think i have a lot plugged in that one but anyway it's i don't know what all this does man beyond me good buddy of mine he he hooks it all up and he tries to explain it to me but i'm lost as soon as he starts but anyway that's what that does all right enough of that so I hope I answered whoever, I can't remember who asked, who asked me that daggum question. I can't remember. But anyways, that's what it does. If you see this video, yep, yep, that's what it is. But anyways, that's about all I can tell you because I don't know shit about it. But I just probably do know how to work the daggum computer. <laughs> but anyways, I do play with it a lot. I mash buttons and I do this. I try different things because, you know, I don't know. I just like touching shit. And I always, I always take a picture. If I move something, I take a picture of it. Now, there's a lot of knobs on that mixer and all that, and a lot of damn shit you can push, and a lot of lights, and you can make it do all kinds of change your voice, make it sound like this, or you can put uh, echo in it, or reverb, and blah blah blah, and I don't know, make you sound like you got a deeper voice, or a squealy voice, or a funny bunny voice, or whatever. You, I, it, it does a lot of shit. But anyways, I take a picture of it before I touch anything. I take a picture because. Man, once I move two or three things, I forget where they set, and so I set them back. But anyways, enough of that. That's what all this does. Like I said, cords running around there. Where it's four or five cords running over here, back over here, back over there, <clears throat> stuff like it. But anyways, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyways, this is on Up Church Blue Jean Face. I know a lot of y'all have heard it. I got in the game late. Uh, now I know this is towards uh, Blue Jean. Uh, Blue Jean. Uh, Scarface, I dig the blue jeans on his face. Uh, another thing I was going to say, go check out Redneck Nation. Uh, I know they're on Instagram. They might be on other things too, but I got them on Instagram. Got an awesome, awesome store. That's what this box does. I said that. But anyways, let's get at it, man. I hope y'all enjoy this. I know a lot of y'all have already heard it, but anyway, I'm going to react on tonight because I'm behind on the eight ball. So I'm just trying to catch up in the game. I'm still learning over here, so let's get at it. Thank you for watching. Can't you see I'm trying to relax? I thought I told you to get out of here, leave me alone. What the hell are you doing that lawnmower blade? I aim to kill you with it. <laughs> hey! When do I ever let shit slide, motherfucker? Ah, uh, he said, when do I ever let shit slide? You know what he said. <laughs> Hell yeah. He don't let it slide very long. Apparently this come out like maybe a day or two after uh, Screwface dropped his. But uh, I know on the skill shot, kill shot, that might come out almost right at a month, I think. It might have been right at exactly a month when he dropped that one. After the ordeal went down. When do I ever let shit slide, motherfucker? Church, 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 church. All this. Make a video. Don't make a video. Post another one. Post another one. Uh, he, he's racist. He, he's racist. Yeah, shut the uh, fuck up. See, so he, he's even talking about old oh, screw faces, uh, uh, talking about racists and all that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's played out, man. Everybody's tired of hearing that. I, I'm not the only one saying that. I've, I've watched a few other reaction people. Uh, not on this one, but on uh, they had some other videos they done on somebody, and they they said they tired of hearing it too. Make a video, don't make a video. Post another one. Post another one. Uh, he, he's racist. He, he's racist. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Fuck up. Yeah, what he said. Oh damn. oh damn! I think he shot right through my maga hat. No, you're not that accurate, and I wasn't even wearing that. This man just drank a mustard. Now he thinks he's going. 
a savage shooting at me with a BB gun all the way. Uh, what did he say? He drank. He just drank the monster. Now he's going savage. <laughs> oh, I know all about them damn energy drink. Ooh. I don't drink them anymore. Man, I used to drink them probably uh, shit, four or five years. Why, why I was on, why I was at the fire department and stuff. Man, I drank quite a bit of them. Man, that dead gum. And think about it, man. They get you so pumped up and you work your ass off, but man, the next day you feel like shit. So what you have to do? Drink more of them. I just quit drinking them completely. This man just drank a monster, now he thinks he's going savage Shooting at me with a BB gun all the way in Nebraska Yeah, bitch, raise hell and get the corn husk, cause Yeah, I know I'm white, but not the White House, but I don't know no politics, the only kind of ticks I know are always sucking on my balls like a dish track, ho <laughs> Oh, shit, go get me straight I'm <coughs> gonna have my damn jaw hurt <laughs> uh, On his ball sack, he said <laughs> Like a <he> dish track <laughs> Oh my lord, up church, up church. Where'd you come up with all these? <laughs> oh my lord. Oh no, no politics, the only kind of ticks I know we're always sucking on my balls like a dish track, ho. Dog, the only time I beat around the bushes when I'm looking, I'll be grabbing snakes and taking them. Ah, uh, he's the only beast when, when he beats around the. Man, I used that. We used to have a saying don't beat around the bush, just beat the bush. <laughs> track, ho. Dog, the only time I beat around the bushes when I'm looking, I'll be grabbing snakes and taking them to cook them. What you stupid? Yeah, this time I cannot say. <laughs> From your own fan base That's like saying you run shit with two prosthetic legs Yeah, I get it, yeah, I get it Yeah, you want me having no bars you want me to be the one that slingshots your career far But that ain't gonna happen Why you try Oh, man I know a lot of people want him to say their names and all that Just so it shoots their career up He ain't gonna do it, man I'm not saying he hasn't done it But a lot of I've heard, man I don't hear him mention hardly anybody's name now, like I said, I don't know what the whole oh, the whole ordeal was about him and Screwface and uh, Upchurch and Hosier and uh, what's that other one? Shotgun Shane or something? I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with the, the beef. I'm sure. Uh, I know. I know he done on maybe a video with uh, Hoosier and all that, and then I think Hoosier. Talk shit about him at another concert when uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what the situation is. I just hear bits and pieces, and I don't know if that's right or not. You know, you always hear everything, but you got to take it with a grain of salt because some of that stuff ain't true, anyways. But, or some of that stuff might be true and it might not. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I don't want to repeat it because I don't want to say something wrong and it's not right, you know. Having no bars, you want me to be the one that slingshots your career far, but that ain't gonna happen. Why you trying to shake and bake with me? You just a decoy rapper, SJW with the race of shit. Somebody get a pussy hat and send it to the tweet. You look like Whoopi Goldberg back in 19. <laughs> Oh, my Lord, up church, up church, up church. Uh, he said somebody get a pussy hat and send it to this dweeb. <laughs> oh, shit. I just don't know. I don't know how he come up with these damn sayings, man. I'm, I'm, I I think probably take me all day to come up with one daggum saying. The race of shit. Somebody get a pussy hat and send it to this dweeb. You look like Whoopi Goldberg back in 1993. A battle rapper, huh? You came to war with Green Eggs and... <laughs> <coughs> daggum. Oh, he's had a look at Whoopi Goldberg. What did he say, back in 1983 or 93? Weep, you look like Whoopi Goldberg back in 1993. I'm better rapper, huh? came to war with green eggs and ham, and I showed up with a steak knife and a chainsaw with my head. The only fact I see is me inflicting the fucking fatality. Silence, I will kill you on the track. That's no one Oh, he says, silence, I kill you. <laughs> oh, man, that was that Ock Man off of Jeff Dunham, man. Y'all ain't never seen Jeff Dunham go check him out. He's got a lot of puppets and stuff, or or I don't call them puppets. They call them something. But anyway, he probably killed me for saying that. But anyway, man, he's a very funny guy. I, I like uh, Ock Man, and man, he got several good characters in there. Hell yeah, go check him out, man. The only fact I see is me inflicting the fucking fatality. Silence, I will kill you on the track. That's no analogy. Career suicide. Yeah, you picked it up and done it with your hand up your ass like Ock Man and Jeff done them. No strings attached. Still a hip hop puppet. You sound like a They say he sounds much like a CNN spokesman. Uh, what is that? What they say is that CNN they talk about it talks about uh, uh, the hell they talk, they, they fake news. I think they, they, they that fake news they throw out there. I think that's what he's getting at. I don't know if that's them or not. It's one of them uh, news things. I don't know which one it is. It might be in that one. They 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 throw a lot of fake news out there. You sound like a motherfucking CNN spokesman. You cry so damn much, you great fossil probably water. Pushed you 
about to end of my anal bag. You the shit now. Only right before I flush it. You pick the wrong hillbilly. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me. Uh, pushed him out his anal bag. <laughs> You're the shit now. <laughs> Oh, chop church, chop church, chop church. Oh, my Lord, I got damn freaking, I feel like a damn snake over there. I fucking want to have lock jaw in a minute. <laughs> oh, man, pushed him out his anal bow. You the shit now. Uh uh uh. About the end of my anal bow. You the shit now. Only right before I flush it. You pick the wrong hillbilly to go against out in public. You want the spotlight, Mr. Topic of Discussion. But instead, you got bitch smacked by an ugly country punk and with a real rind up. Church, please stand up. You about Uh, talking about his boyfriend and stuff what <laughs> oh my lord oh lord boyfriend defending you up in this video he looks like he emerged about a dj cadence booty hoe nice beard man what kind of carpet that you use do you smile like that when you pull his jeans down and then your face gets screwed boom power got you flabbergasted <laughs> yeah bang oh don't cry about it little pansy oh he said don't cry about it little pansy yeah yeah we don't need no cry babies little pansy <laughs> Oh, my oh, mercy, oh, mercy. Uh, this is why I dig up church's music, man. He is just a funny, funny, funny cat. Now, he, I, man, if he come up with this song a day or two days, man, I got to give him props because, shit, man, it took me a day of year to even come up with a quarter of that damn, I couldn't even come up with probably a quarter of them. But, man, he got some damn good bars in here, man. They're funny. I dig it. I hope y'all enjoying it, man. Man, what kind of carpet that you use? Do you smile like that when you pull his jeans down and your face gets screwed? Wow. Boom, Howard got you flabbergasted. <laughs> yeah, bang, oh, don't cry about it, little pansy. Bitch, I'm Hank Hooligan from the Deep South. I bring the Kaiser Blade and say you got a dirty mouth. So tell me, man, what was your... <laughs> uh, he said you got a dirty mouth. <laughs> Boy, you got a dirty mouth. <laughs> uh, man, I've heard that all my life. Boy, you got a dirty mouth. <laughs> from the Deep Tell me, man, what was your initial plan? I think it backfired like my uncle Larry trans Am. Is this a battle rap or you just trying to shake my hand? Did I just diss a bitch or a fully converted trans man? Damn. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. <laughs> it is ma'am. Excuse me, it is ma'am. Anyway, man, he said something about his, uh, uh, his, uh, what did he say? His uncle's grand, uh, trans Am backfiring and stuff. Hell yeah, man. He said something before that, but talking about, I guess, poor screws about his. His, his shit backfiring like his uncle trans am <laughs> converted trans man damn excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am almost picked a drake beat killing you was god's plan you look up to this church why you pray beforehand yeah you thought your shot was definitely gonna smash now i'm burning your ass like a slut who walked up in a sunday school class congratulations pat on the back of the end of this song i won't be taking that l back now if you please will take a second step away from the microphone before you lose so many followers you're in the next was that a publicity stunt? Somebody left in the back? Now people hear you saying trigger words in your rap And they're like, yeah, bro, somebody go ahead and get the body back A fucking body back for what? This was self-assassination He's got his own webpage, just hating on him at the second He got people in the comments saying, who the fuck is up? Church is still on sub because he sounds so damn butt hurt Chuck! Hell yeah I'm gonna call the police you Push Nine One <laughs> I told you not to mess with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, he said, I told you not to mess with me. It's like he hit him with that uh, lawnmower blade that he had in the beginning of the thing here. But anyways, man, hell yeah, I dig this, man. Oh, shit, my damn jaws are hurting, laughing so hard. Woo-wee, Up Church, Blue Jean Face, Eminem Remix. I know a lot of y'all have already heard it, but man, I just want to react on it because I'm still new to the game. I'm still trying to learn while all this diss is going on between him and Screwface, uh, him and Hozier, and uh, what was that other one? Shotgun Shane, and uh, might be one other one out there. I, I can't remember. But anyway, man, I, I, I don't know the situation on all that. I don't want to really say because I don't know. I just hear what other people say, and I'm not sure if that's right or not. That's the reason I don't want to say. But anyways, man, I whatever it is, whatever the case might be, I don't care. 
I love this song, man. I dig it. It's funny. Got me laughing. My damn side hurt. My damn jaw's hurting. And when it does that, it's a damn good song. And I enjoy it. Like I said, I enjoy it. a lot of Up Church's music. I've done several of his uh, uh, songs, man. I love them. This is, might be one of my other favorite ones, man. I, but my my best one yet, to me personally, my favorite song, I know he's got a bunch of songs, but to me, is the YZ. I dig the YZ because, man, I, I love the, the dirt bike sound. He, I, I think he brought his dirt bike in, into the studio, and, and that's how you get the, the ribbing it up sound. I'm not 100%. I just think that's, I think that's what I heard him say. But, man, some, something about that song, man, I just dig it, man. Uh, but anyways, that's one of my favorite songs. I, I definitely dig this song. But anyways, I like a lot of his songs. I hope, man, I want to give a shout-out to Creek Squad and all them, man. They've dropped some comments on some of my videos. Uh, I can't remember if I replied back to them. I don't know if I did not. I always try to hit like and, and, and throw the heart up. I do. I, I'm not a big texter, so I don't really say a lot in the conversation back. I do thank you for you know what you say and, and stuff like that. So I'm just not real big on writing a big paragraph. Now it's a little harder to do it on the phone because a lot of times I have my phone with me when y'all usually drop a message. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, I, I don't have a lot of time to sit there and write a big paragraph. But I do thank y'all for dropping comments and and stuff like that. Uh, Creek Squad. Uh, I want to say thank you, Kimberly and Jan and Matt, Matt, my grandson of a moonshiner. And I had somebody from Texas uh, just drop a comment earlier. But, man, I, I appreciate all y'all, man. It's, it's what I'm trying to get at. Now, if I don't say a lot back, that don't, don't mean anything by it. I'm just not a uh, writing a big story. I do appreciate what y'all do, and I appreciate the comments and stuff like that. I do thank y'all. But anyways, enough of that. I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction on Up Church, Blue Jean Face, Eminem Remix. Till then, Big D is going to say, peace out.